Hello everyone, iSchool Tech here. iPhone 7 and iOS 14.5, let's take a look. Now is your iPhone 7 experiencing battery drain? Yes? Well then that subscribe button just below is right for you. By subscribing with notifications enabled, you'll free your iPhone 7 from all battery drain. It is probably scientifically proven. After updating my beautiful iPhone 7 to iOS 14.5, I've certainly noticed improvements in performance with everyday tasks such as launching apps, playing games, and browsing the web. Yet that's something I haven't said in a while in two different ways actually. So yes, 8 betas paid off. While it's nothing major, this almost 5 year old iPhone feels nothing even close to that, can still push through nearly anything you throw at it. Animations have also seen some improvements that I thought I'd never live to see. Well, okay. Yeah, moving on. Unlock stuttering is fixed, fellas, and what's that? App library stuttering is completely gone as well, and all other system-wide animations are perfectly smooth. Well, actually, that's kind of a lie. The widgets page is pretty much what we like to call a lost cause at this point. And as expected at this rate, RAM management sees slight improvement since updating iOS 14.5 in my experience. Reloads only really happen when either a ton of apps are open simultaneously or several of those big boys like PUBG and Asphalt 8 or 9 are open. Also, I'm never saying that again. Now before I get into battery life, keep in mind that my iPhone 7 still has a maximum capacity of 90% and has had no restarts. This means that the iPhone is not being performance throttled. Now, oh yes, big sir, battery life is so much better in iOS 14.5 than any and all previous releases of iOS 14. Heck, it's even better than plenty of iOS 13 releases. And just so we're clear, if you know me, I am obsessed with iOS 13 and absolutely despise iOS 14, so saying that, it takes a lot. But seriously though, this is great. Drain is pretty much gone for me, though battery life still isn't quite as good as it once was. And standby time is looking hot with a drain of just 3% per night. Do keep in mind that your battery life can and will most likely vary from mine. Now overheating doesn't kill this amazing update as it's still pretty much out the window. The only time I noticed overheating on iOS 14.5 with my iPhone 7 was while performing super heavy tasks. For example, texting will not overheat your iPhone 7, nor will just scrolling through the home screen or signing in and out of iCloud if you remember that. While playing a game like Asphalt 8 will start to get it warm. Now editing 4K 60 video on this thing will certainly overheat it, but unless you're really doing something like that, then you're, you're fine. Improvements in every single area, this is phenomenal. For once I can finally say this, if you're on any other release of iOS 14, update. If you're on iOS 13 and want to update, or even better, you need to update, then yeah, I'm not even going to try and stop you. If you're on iOS 12, iOS 11, or even iOS 10 still, that decision is 100% up to you, and I, again, I'm not going to try and stop you. Alright everyone, that is all I have for this video. Now, if you do have any questions, or you just like to say hi, make sure to leave a comment down below. Of course, you can definitely make sure to follow me on Twitter using the link in the description. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.